Hello, 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 and welcome back to another horrible video, and today, I'm gonna be remaking my How to Nuclear tutorial. So, first, obviously, we're going to get a nuclear reactor. Now, why am I remaking this? Well, it's because the old one is kind of outdated. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get, you know, those polysilicones out. You know, you need all your polysilicones. Remember? always have manual control this time you don't have the letters or numbers you got the deactivate and activate which for some players makes that easier but for me I rather not have that next you're gonna need these poly silicones here uh, remember switch one of them to deactivate and get two temperature sensors Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, two temperature sensors. Put them like that. Deactivate. Now put your temp- yeah, yeah, put the temperature sensors on here. Remember to lock them. Now, give me one second. Alright, so what you want to put in for the pink one is- is 1001 watch this closely these have to be the exact numbers 1001 and 10,000 okay is that 10,000 or 100,000 yeah that's 10,000 make sure it's applied then go over here type in 20 and 1000 this will make sure that the reactor stays in you know good ranges and stuff now Remember, uh, always have a light at your reactor, okay? Always have a light going so you can see everything and stuff. Uh, hold on, hold on. Alright, we good now. Alright, see, see problem solved. Okay, now, you want to put two buttons one here one here and then you want another up here and then you need another polysilicone up there and no, I don't have time for that. Of course it's desynced. Of course it's desynced. Okay. Here, you want to switch this one to flip-flop. It has to be on flip-flop. Or else it's not going to serve its purpose. Then, you want to put a bin at the back. Right here. Then you want to get some uranium... Uranium. And you want to put the uranium on this side. It doesn't have to be on this side. It doesn't really matter which side you put it on. Um, and then you want to put it like this. So, make it sure it's like that. Then you want to get water. And you want to put the water here, get a valve. For the water, make sure the valve does not touch the polysilicones. Like, make sure it's not, like, touching that, or else it's going to turn on and off constantly. You want it to be at your full control. Then you want to get three steam turbines. Remember that number... Oh, God. Okay. Th three steam turbines. Lock it. Make sure it doesn't crush you to death. Move it over here. Then get another container. Bring it here. Put it like so. 
uh, it should be full sized because if it's not, it might not be able to hold the maximum amount of steam that you put in it. Now you wanna you wanna bring the pipe, this pipe. Make sure it's connected to the container here. Here, let me let me um let me, me let me make sure you can see that lights. Yeah, there. Now you want to resize this pipe all the way down here. Make sure it's like that. I'm going to put it like this. Now, you're going to need to take a wire, pull it through here. I usually put mine, like, under the pipes and stuff. I also like to make them go fully sized out on the thing. But, you know, that's really your choice. And no, the reactor does not need power to work. So, we're going to take a power cell here. So I can prove that this will indeed make power. I'm gonna bring you over here. All right, take a wire. Connect it to your power grid or system, whatever you want to call it. I usually just connect it directly to the power cells. And now that that's there, we will go over here and start the reactor. Now, you're going to have to wait for it to heat up. Fill it up with four uranium. And now we wait. All right, once it starts getting here, you want to you might want to help it cool down a bit like by spamming that. And it's supposed to bob around 1000 temperature, so once it, you know, gets up here, it means it's at its maximum efficiency. It's going to make the max amount of safe power. Um and yeah, all you have to do from here is turn on the water supply. And then that's a good sign. It's starting the steam. The steam container is full. Which means... Yes, yeah, so see the steam... The steam turbines are now being powered by the, you know, steam. And as we could see over here... That is more power than I expected to come out of here. Uh, yeah, but that's how much power it's making. Let's see, uh... It's making, like... 200 to 600? It's weird. Okay, that's... No, it's making, like, 400 or 2... It's... It's hard to tell. It, yeah, it's, like, making... Yeah, okay, that that's, like, weird. Well, that's the reactor tutorial. Oh, let's see how much water it's used. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of water. But let's see how much... It, yeah, it instantly turns off. That has to be on. But, yeah, that's the reactor tutorial, the remade, revised version for the new Waste of Space update. I hope you hated this horrible tutorial. And I won't see you next time. Goodbye.